Today we're going to learn about chickens. Hello and welcome back to LG's Hen House. The other day I got my next coop crate in the mail so today I was going to do an unboxing to show you guys what I got in this box this month. So first of all I want to say that again it was proudly packed by Julie just like my one from last month. Let's see what's inside. So first it's uh, on the inside again it's showing meet the chicken that you helped this month and this month is from Wanda. So it's showing Coop Crate is proud to donate to rescue facilities that help neglected farm animals find loving homes. Every Coop Crate box you purchase helps a chicken in need. This box won't just spoil your chickens. It also helps other chickens who are looking for their forever home. And again, that's Wanda. <laughs> Let's see, there's a little uh, card in here. It says hen humor. Why did the mother hen ground her chicks? They were using foul language. And then on the back, it says, remember, the chicken treats and gear we send are all exclusive to Coop Crate and are not available anywhere else. We hope your flock loves them. Peace, love, and chickens. So let's see what's in here. We've got the lock spoilers, Coop Cookies chicken treat. Let's see about that. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show like my chickens. Um, I'll show if they actually like it, them kind of eating. We'll see what these look like. Oh, wow. These are actual like real big cookies. <laughs> I'm sure my girls are going to like that. Let's see. Then we've got some herbal health supplement. My girls are already checking me out. They're like, what do you got, mom? There's this. And this says, um, shield your chickens against the threat of certain harmful bacteria. Also has an added benefit of optimizing reproductive health and egg quality for laying hens. Hmm. So we'll try that. It's 100% natural product. And it says just um, mix healthful hen organic supplement with your flock's regular dry food or spread by hand as an occasional treat. So we'll try that out too. And I learned from last time that these are treats for myself, not for my chickens. It's a crazy chicken lady candy company. It's Coop Crack Party Mints. We'll see what this is. Chickens are just clucking away back there. Yep, those look like just like your regular dinner mints that you'd get like at a wedding. But I like them, so I'll have them here and there. Next, we've got a uh, Vita Chook. Um, keep backyard poultry hydrated in both hot and cold weather which we are needing here because it is extremely hot we're getting the 80s and 90s so it's this it um it's mineral electrolytes for chickens um to use add one tablespoon of electrolytes to a standard bucket full of water i hope this helps my chickens because they've been panting in this heat and i've been trying everything to keep them cool so i'm pretty excited about this i think they'll like this a lot and <laughs> a call trainer for pet chickens keep your backyard chicken flock safe happy and healthy by training them to return to the coop when called so we've got like a little maraca so 
you use this, I guess, when you want them to go back into their coop. For my girls, I always just go chick, 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 and then they all come running at me, <laughs> just looked up at me. But usually that's when I have treats. But if I ever want to get them into the coop, like before it starts to get dark out, I usually just kind of throw like a handful of corn or something like that, and that gets them in. But I can definitely try that out too when I want them in, and maybe that'll help get them in faster. So we'll see. Oh, training your chickens to come when called, just like what I was talking about. <laughs> It's got four steps on training your flock to return to their pen when called. Isn't just fun to do, it's also a great way to keep them safe and quickly get them into the coop at the end of the day. Many people don't know it, but teaching your backyard chickens to come when called is a pretty easy process. Here are some tips for training your flock in, the little, in as little as a few weeks. So I can definitely read this and try doing what it's saying for some tips here so yeah i'll give this a, a try as well and what's this oh another sticker live well laugh often love chickens i like that it has little stickers in this box it's very cool yep again i'm i'm really happy that I found this uh, subscription box. I think it's really cool. I like that I can spoil my chickens with like a bunch of different stuff that I don't usually see when I go to my local like tractor supply or when I go to Ace Hardware or anything like that. They definitely don't have this kind of stuff there. So I'm really excited that I get to try new things with my chickens. And yeah, I'm really excited. I think it is a great box. But now, uh, give everything to my chickens and see if they actually like it. I just have my usual water bucket here that I'm going to fill up with water and I'm going to use this Vita Chok Chok. I'm not sure how you're supposed to really pronounce it, but I'm going to go ahead and use that. It's going to get up to the 90s today, so it's going to be another hot day for my girls. So hopefully this helps them out, keeping them hydrated. And as it says on here, it's a tablespoon of electrolytes to a standard bucket full of water. So I've got my tablespoon here. Let me show you what it kind of looks like here. It kind of looks like little crystals. Not the same as treats drinking water. Chick, chick, chick. Right here, drink some water. Over here, water. Colleen's thirsty. You can drink too, Daddy. Chick, chick, chick. Next, I'm gonna check out to see if they like these herbs. And I'll use a little collar so that they can get used to that. This might be something I need to just sprinkle in their food. Maybe they'll eat it with the food. It's kind of hard for them to just peck at because it's kind of uh, dry and it kind of like went up into the air as they pecked at it. So maybe I'll just put it into their food for them. This is their food and they just make a huge mess of it. We're going to try um, a different method for a feeder, but for now this is what we got. So I'm going to take some of this and just kind of sprinkle it in so that way they can still get all the good stuff from it. You watching me? Making sure I'm doing stuff right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it really just kind of fluffed up into the air as they tried to peck it, so I think that they didn't have much interest. But if it's mixed in with the food, I think that'll do a lot better for them.
Next, I'm gonna try the Coop cookies. See how my girls, okay, yep, they already are trying. <laughs> okay, okay, let me break into pieces. All right, I got some fans already. <laughs> oh gosh, I know, I know, chill out. I'm throwing it on the ground for you guys. Yep, I'm gonna say these are a hit. <laughs> Okay, you just want to eat it from my hand. I know. Nobody wants to eat off the ground. Who does that? It's because you girls are spoiled. And do I spoil you guys? There you go. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. I'm making videos about the different breeds that I have within my flock. As I get this coop crate box, I will be making videos on what I get in here. And pretty soon here, I'm going to make a video about what to expect with a broody hen and how she kind of raises her chicks. I currently have one that's walking around with some chicks right now and another one that's broody sitting on some eggs. So once she's done with the eggs, I'm gonna make a video on that. So that one should be pretty fun seeing all the little chicks. But please stay tuned and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.